They've got Anderson. Porzingis is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Johnson, and it's Smart in at the one spot. That's the Boston Five. Rebound, Boston. Johnson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard. Yeah, rebound has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. There's Kaminsky. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got six rebounds in the game. Johnson. The pass to Smart. Here's Brzingis. The tray. Good, and Smart gets the assist. And another triple to their second half. They came out of the break just dropping bombs and just are not letting up at all. And it's good. 19 points for Frank Kaminsky. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. They just continue to splash home those threes. Eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense. Absolutely. You cannot allow a team to have that kind of a rhythm from beyond. But I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those when he misses when he's got that much room. Stolen by Walker. Stolen away. And now here's Johnson up that straight chance. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Now here's Walker. Takes the 13-footer, and the Hornets miss again. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Pulls up. Post. Rebound, Kemba Walker. No breathing room at all to take that shot. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Charlotte, no good that time either. And here's Boston. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. From 10 feet out. And that's 15 points for Magician. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. No coverage that time. 11 points for Anthony Bennett. I mean, even he was surprised to be that old. It's deflected. It's stolen by Kaminsky. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Stolen by the Smart. And now it's running, running. Here we go. All the That early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. That was a nice replay brought to you by Kia. Now here's Walker. Good. Even though there's a height disadvantage, he's still able to go up and over his man. Well, he's fearless. I mean, there's nothing that concerns him. No matter what the matchup is, he's a guy that doesn't back down. He's beyond being intimidated. For Charlotte, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Over in the corner, called Welcome. A three-pointer off the mark. For Boston, they've gone six of nine in field goal attempts since the start of the fourth quarter. Anderson can't get it to go. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, that's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. To the middle. Here's Lamb. Johnson with the block. also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. That's good by Walker. Walker's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, how about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off just sensational stuff. Wow. He's really got it going. He struggled early on. to the left wing. Caldwell Pope. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. So it's Boston now. Now here's Smart. Has to 
Porzingis. And Leonard has it in the corner. Down low. Here's Johnson. Uses the ball. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Now here's Walker. Johnson's got nine rebounds now tonight. Lots of room. And he sinks that one in the back of the room on the way in. Johnson's got six points in the quarter. And Walker kicks to Kaminsky. Passes to Caldwell Pope. Takes the three. Takes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. And here's Anderson from the arc. Hornets with the rebound. Bennett's got three rebounds now in this one. Lamb passes to Caldwell Burke. A shot by Kaminsky. Nobody around. A three-pointer, no good. Can't seem to find the range here in the second. He did a great job in the first, hitting three from outside. Anderson with the block. And that's kind of how Charlotte will retain possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. There's a screen by Williams. Walker's shot is off. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Anderson can't get that one to fall. Charlotte has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Anderson with the block. They retain possession. Here's Smart. This is to Anderson. Nice ball movement by Boston. The Redco can't get it to go. The Horn is shooting reasonably well, 45%. And Walker kicks to Williams. No three for Walker. There's a screen. Here's Serafin. Terrific design on the big foot. And he lays it in. Boy, just an excellent assist. Nice work from Kimball Walker. Deflects the pass. That one rolled in the round and runs out. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. Because he can't get anything to fall this half. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. No clue where that pass is going. That is a brutal turnover. Miritich is checked in for Boston. Isaiah Cannon, he's checked in for Charlotte. Outside Williams. Here's Caldwell Pope. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Checking out the game. Contavious Caldwell Pope has had 13 points, and he's played three three-point bombs so far. Oh, don't stop. <laughs> don't hesitate. Keep firing from out there when the shot's falling like this. Rozier, he's checked in for Boston. Boston's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. The shot's good from Zarebko. They desperately need to stop instead. They give up a triple on an open look. The dish to Williams. Here's Cannon. Kicks it to Seraphim. Six to shoot. That's good. Just such a good shooter from that range. And you factor in his height advantage. It's almost unfair. Stolen by Seraphim. The feed to Cannon. Outside Williams. He kicks it to Cannon. There's a screen by Williams. Just four to shoot. And he has space. That's good. Boston's gotten three of their six three pointers to fall here in the fourth. To the paint. Here's Anderson. Got it. Good job. Anderson's got seven now in this quarter. He shot 
shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves. Here's Cannon. Here's Edwin. Misses the three. Hunter, the pass to Rozier. He dishes it to Anderson. Beyond the arc. A shot's good from Zerepko. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Yeah, and Greg, you know the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. And so it's Charlotte with it, following the three-pointer by Boston. Like at six, picked by Williams. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rebound, Boston. Anderson with the drive, can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Williams. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down. And what will be a win here in game one of the series for Boston. And they could do no wrong to get HD that right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. Here's Cannon over in the corner. Called well Pope. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. And so it's Boston with it. Here's Anderson. Hands it. Shows a wide open look. And again, Boston with the triple. This is a serious game-clinching run there. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one. first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And we send you now over to Bernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. So is Shaquille O'Neal. Time now for some highlights as we take a look at our Jordan player of the game. He delivered quite a star performance not uncommon as we've seen him have this sort of terrific night many times starting out the series this is a huge win to go up 1-0 he gave them the energy and effort they needed huge performance and what a time to do it if he can keep up this effort early, boy oh boy oh boy distributing the ball might not be his number one duty but tonight he was very creative he nearly got double digits in assists you have to love how alert he was and aware he was of his surroundings so many of his passes led to high-quality shots. And that will wrap up this round one broadcast of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. For Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson, and we'll see you again as the NBA playoffs continue.